Hey, this is Steve Shaw, and I'm about to do my second video with uh, acrylic pores. And today I'm going to do a swipe using purple, which I've never done before. And I also have a, uh, a light blue, a turquoise blue, and a very dark blue, which you'll see in just a moment, a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to be pouring on a 14 by 18 inch canvas. And as you can see behind me, I had bought, uh, went and bought some shampoo bottles from Amazon and I put my paint in each one of these and added a little bit of water to them. I have a bottle of Floetrol here. So whenever I want to mix up paints or do a uh, flow painting, acrylic painting, I just uh, grab a cup, come over here, add my color, add my Floetrol, stir it up, and away we go. Cuts down on the mess and the time, so it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to shift my camera down so you can see what I'm going to be looking at. And, as I mentioned, I've got yellow, dark blue, light blue, a turquoisey kind of blue, and the purple. I'm going to set the purple to the side for a minute because it's going to be my swipe color. And, do I want to do a straight pour or do I want to do a flip cup? I'm going to do a straight pour. Ha! I don't do those very often. So, here we go. I'm going to start off with some dark blue. I'm going to leave room across the top here to put my purple. Get all of that on there. Going to add some yellow. Oh, and in these colors, I did add about 20 drops of silicone, and they do each have some Floetrol in there. And I have to say, I have not mastered or quite figured out the amount of silicone to add to these colors to get those huge amazing cells. I've had plenty of luck getting cells in some really really beautiful areas but boy some of those paintings you see on YouTube and Etsy the cells are just insane biggest silver dollars and all over the place. They make me kind of jealous. So here's what I'm working with so far. I'm now I'm gonna take my purple and I'm going to pour a good bit of it right across the top up here. Nice and thick. And I haven't added anything to the purple. Um, from the paint that I had, I watered it down just a little bit. Um, you know, I did add a couple little shots of Floetrol, but not much. And no silicone in there at all. And just for grins, I'm going to add a little bit more across here. And around these bottom edges just to help fill them in. Okay, so one of the other videos I watched by a woman named Debbie, who did some really cool stuff. Um, enjoy your videos, by the way, Debbie. The, uh, she took a paper towel on the recommendation of another viewer and got it wet. I've done the same thing here. So, and then she uses that to drag across. Again, this is the first time I've done this, so let's just see what the heck happens. Oh, I just realized I left my light blue off. Add a little bit of light blue here, up the sides and across the top. I'm hoping this purple gives it enough contrast to really pull it out. Already some cool stuff's happening. Uh, I'm gonna get a little more purple. This is more paint than I would usually use. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens. I'm gonna take my paper towel, fold it back a little bit, lay it across my canvas, and just let the weight of the paper towel Pull it across. Ooh, I'm gonna be, there you go, that's kinda cool. And I think I may actually, can you allow, I guess you're allowed to pull back a little bit if you want. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Doing some swipes to get back in here. Wow, that's looking really cool. I want to make sure you can see that on there. We're getting some really cool cells in there. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit because I really like what's happening in the middle. Oh, yeah. This flow painting is just so satisfying. It is so easy, so beautiful. I absolutely love doing this. I could do it every day. 
All right, so I'm going to touch up over here just a little bit. Wow, beautiful. All right, so it's looking really, really good. Um, I'm tempted just to leave it alone, but yeah, leaving stuff alone is not my strong suit. So uh, if I can find my torch right here, I use the bigger torch. We'll see if we can't get some more cells coming up. I'm gonna hit some of this. Oh, that purple's pulling away, leaving some nice cells in there. Oh, digging that, that looks beautiful. Look at that yellow and the blue coming through the purple up there. Back in here, it's gotten a little muddy in here but not bad. Wow, and there's some beautiful stuff happening in this area too. Which, goodness, I think the glare is pretty bad. But there you go. All right. That's all I'm gonna do with this one. So let me tilt it up so you can get a better view of it. I'm gonna let that dry and see what happens to it. I may have to play with it a tiny bit more. Gosh, that's beautiful. Stretch it out some. But once again, I am very, very happy. All right, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I'll be putting out another video soon. Thanks, bye.